and welcome back to Travelling Box with me, Tanya. And in this episode, vlog, whatever you call it, video on YouTube, uh, I'm talking about Wi-Fi in the caravan and the ways that we can connect with the outside world, use our apps, use our internet, FaceTime, WhatsApp, streaming movies and television and things like that via internet connection in the caravan. Um, those of you who watched our holiday vlogs in York will know that it was frustrating me immensely. Um, even though we had free Wi-Fi on the campsite in Scarborough, it wasn't strong enough to give a strong good connection during FaceTime, which was horrendously frustrating. And then at the Caravan and Home Club in York, there was no free Wi-Fi, there was paid for Wi-Fi. So I didn't, because I've done that before and the signal has still not been good enough for what I've wanted. So I just used my phone as a hotspot um, and, and I have 15 gig of data on my phone. So that lasted absolutely no problems, but still wasn't quite good enough. FaceTime was still a major issue. And of course, of an evening, if you're sitting in the van, and you've got your blinds closed all over the van as you do of an evening because otherwise everyone can see straight in and see everything that you're doing uh, it turns it into a little bit of a blackout like a Faraday cage where signal struggles to get in so even if you're in a really good 4G area the signal still struggles to get inside your van which means you end up sitting with a blind or two half open just to get some signal in so that you can play your games or scroll social media sites or whatever and that's invariably also when I'm uploading my videos uh, which is a real struggle and can take forever so um, yeah the, the topic of, of Wi-Fi and how to get around that is something I've been investigating and seriously researching this past couple of weeks I think I think I'm hoping I've found the perfect solution at least for me um, so this weekend I bit the bullet after much deliberation on what to buy and I have purchased a 4G router and an external aerial. So I'll show you what I've bought. These arrived yesterday and I haven't opened them yet. So the first thing to arrive was the router and I opted for this one which is the TP-Link MR600. There are lots of options to choose from and it's really hard to make the, the ultimate decision. But what I was looking for was a router that could connect various devices at once because I do want an Alexa in here. Um, I do have my tablet, my phone, my son has his Kindle and various things that we connect at once. If my mum comes away on holiday, she'll want to connect her devices as well. Um, and some devices struggle to connect to a telephone hotspot. Um, my, my son's Kindle won't connect to my phone's hotspot at all. Um, it's fine until you want to download another book. Uh, so yes, this is what I've wanted. Um, now, specifically, I also needed a router that would allow another aerial. So this is the aerial I chose it's the pointing omnidirectional aerial and the aerial cable will connect to this router so you stick your aerial outside the van run the cables in and connect directly to your router and then of an evening it doesn't matter if your blinds are all closed because your aerial is outside feeding that signal inside to your router. So the fact that you're sitting with your blinds closed should make no difference to connectivity at all. Fingers crossed, hey. <laughs> now, as I said, this is a 4G router, so it's not a Wi-Fi hotspot in as much as it won't improve or boost the signal from a Wi-Fi that's on a, on a, on a site. This is connecting to the 4G or 3G um, cellular signal in, in any particular area. So you do need to then insert a SIM card into this router. And for that, I have ordered a GIFGAF SIM card 
to try for our next holiday and I will also be getting the Smarty SIM card. Now the reason I've chosen those two is GiftGaff runs on the O2 network uh, contact contract free so I'll only need to buy a sim when I'm going on holiday so in the winter months when I'm not away so much I won't need to be paying out a monthly contract fee and I could also change to however many gig I want to buy so if I want an unlimited data sim for £20 for example I can buy that if I'm away for two weeks if I'm only away for two nights I'll only need six gigs so I'll only need to buy six gig data that makes sense so i will be changing between gift gaff or smarty smarty ones on the three network so it depends on oh hello <laughs> it depends on where you are in the country which campsite and there are various websites that you can check type in the the postcode in fact i'll put a link to, to one on here that i've been using type in the postcode for your website and it will tell you whether a particular network has 3G or 4G or even 5G in that area and then you can adjust which SIM you use accordingly. That's my plan, that's my thinking anyway. Um, but yes, as I said, this is the router. I haven't got it out of the box yet, so uh, let's see what comes with it. that's it so we've got the router itself which is a nice sleek design still got that plastic coating on I hate that but I hate taking it off as well in case I scratch it and at the back you'll see there's various LAN ports uh, the power cable the power button uh, the sim card micro sim card goes in there and these are the aerial points it does come with aerials which then connect onto the aerial points here Ooh. and they're bendy as well so if you want to use it standalone without an external aerial you can it comes with its own aerials for me in the caravan, knowing the issues that we have of an evening, that wasn't an option for me. But I did need the external aerial connectivity here. So this was a good option for me. It's 12 volts. However, it comes with a standard three pin plug. Uh, so I shall in the future be looking for an alternative plug that's a 12 volt plug. So that off gridding and still maintaining the, the router will be an option that's a future project but for now i can use this standard three pin plug there's also network cable which i have no use for but it's here and various installation guides that's it just a double-sided a4 sheet of paper so it's very simple and the usual bits and pieces that nobody ever reads no idea what that is oh that's the sim card adapter there by the looks of it so that's the router and then the aerial and pointing is in here Ooh. that's it <laughs> okay let's take that off a bit so that's the actual aerial rather a long antenna and that's the two ports connectors that are at the end there and this attaches to the side of your camera van you can either clamp it somewhere by the looks of it but what I wanted was these four suckers so 
and you put the four suckers on the side here and then suction that to the side of your caravan, run the cable through a window directly into your router and off you go with a nice big cellular aerial. Looks good. We just check. I was wondering whether these aerial connectors would fit directly to the back here or whether I would need an adapter. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. So yes, if you're buy buying the TP-Link MR600 and this pointing omnidirectional cellular aerial, you don't need an adapter. The aerial connects straight into the back of this. Perfect fit. That's cool. That's made me very happy. So yes, this also comes with an A4 double-sided sheet of paper with the various different mounting options. So you can wall mount it using a six millimeter masonry drill bit, and then you can screw it into a wall not going to be doing that in the caravan or window mounting with the four suckers through the holes in the bracket which is there or pole mounting which could be interesting if you've got a flagpole or an aerial pole is that that could be an interesting way of doing it and you place the pipe clamp through the bracket as shown and then attach it to a pole as there. So there's three different ways of uh, securing this little dude. Which looks rather funky. That's certainly a long enough cable to reach from the far side of the van down and into a window and then directly into the router. So yes, that's what I've opted for in the end. Comes with everything that you need. Uh, hopefully that will work really, really well. I'm going to test it. Um, my gift gaff SIM card hasn't arrived yet, but I do have the O2 SIM from my phone. So I'm going to give a little go of putting it all together and just connecting it and seeing what difference it makes here in the caravan. Uh, but I won't be able to give it a proper test until we're actually on holiday. That will be the real test. And for that one, we will be in Chipping Norton, um, which I've already looked up the postcode. And that one says that the three network only does 3G. There's no 4G available, so that's a bit pants. The O2 network, has 3G and 4G so that one will be a gift gaff sim and see how it goes from there but I'm rather excited Okay, so for the purposes of testing this little gadget, I've, I've just connected my caravan to the hookup on my driveway and very quickly um, stuck the aerial <laughs> on the side of the van somewhere near the top and run the aerial through and connected it. Uh, so yes, yeah, she's, she's plugged in. Why is everything a girl when I talk about it? Because it's useful. Uh, I've plugged her in with the three pin socket to, to the two volty volts van connection. Um, the aerials are connected straight into the back here. I've taken out my O2 SIM card from my phone and used the SIM adapter that comes with this because mine's a micro no a nano sim and this needs micro but that's why they provide the adapters uh, so that's in there happily and um, 
yeah she's all powered up and there's let's take this off now so on the bottom I don't know how clearly you're going to be able to see there are there are lit uh, display logos at the bottom so one that's saying that the power is on one saying that I've got 4G plus it's given me four bars of signal and I don't know what that is oh the internet is on so um yeah all powered on until I figure out exactly where I'm going to put everything I'm just going to plonk it there for now and uh, let's see if we can connect and what kind of speeds we get so I'm going to connect onto my iPad Wi-Fi and it's coming up with the TP-Link modem there so let's connect the password and information is written on a label on the bottom of the modem so let's type that in join Right, it's connected me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hot in here. <laughs> it's not even that hot of a day. I'm just baking. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I've joined and um, yeah, I'm sat right next to the modem. So there's obviously all the bars of signal there. So let's do a signal checker. I'm going to go on to speedtest.net We'll see what it comes up as That's not bad It's come up with 14.29 megabytes per second on the download, 0.24 on upload. Now I did do, as a bit of a geeky comparison earlier, I connected my iPad to my iPhone on this same O2 SIM as a hotspot to see or just to prove to myself really that having a separate router is worth it um, now comparatively I will I've screenshot these so I'll add them onto here um, but the using the iPhone as a hotspot for my iPad gave me download speeds of 2.21 and here I've just got 14.29. Same scenario, sitting in here in the caravan uh, with the same SIM. That's the, the difference it's given me in, in download speeds. Now that's significant, uh, especially when you wanted to stream Netflix or Prime movies or, or something like that. If you've got a fire stick to your TV, that's a very very different and much improved speed which means that uh, it's much better much easier to stream and, and watch without that horrible buffering or, or crackling up of the screen so as a very quick test here on my driveway without you know putting things in a better place and sorting out positioning and stuff like that that's a vast improvement so uh, yeah as a quick test let's go on to Netflix and uh, see what streaming's like let's just pick anything I don't know something I haven't seen before 
Right. Oh, that glare on the window. Well, that's playing nicely. Good picture fast to load all right yeah I'm happy with that go me so yes um I will put a link in the description to all of the gadgets that I bought today um so that you can find them easily uh yeah I, I never get given stuff for testing or free or anything like that so this is out of my own money my own research, my own time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, very impressed so far. The, the, the true test will be when we get onto site and that will be in a couple of weeks time. So uh, yeah, follow on uh, and uh, watch our next vlog when we're on holiday and I'll, I'll let you know then how we're getting on once my mum is, is with us connecting and I'm connecting with my phone and my iPad, uh, I shall possibly bring a fire stick with me for the TV. Um, yeah, didn't tell you, I got a TV. <laughs> I got given a TV from my aunt. So we've now got a telly in here, which we haven't tried or used yet. So that's gonna be interesting as well. But yeah, that, that's a whole other thing. Um, from someone who is never going to have a TV. It's at the bottom of my son's bed where the, the mount already was. So yeah, I might bring a fire stick with me because I have a spare one in my bedroom that I just never use because I don't watch telly in the bedroom. I barely watch telly. Uh, so yeah, so I will give that a go as well and uh, we'll see how we get on with, with my son having his Kindle connected, me with my Kindle, my phone, my iPad, my mum with her Kindle and her iPad and phone and the TV fire stick and we'll see how we get on. Um, in, in the back of beyond in a, in a very strange corner of a, a farm <laughs> in a village in the Cotswolds so that will be the true test uh, so yeah keep, keep an eye out for that vlog but in the meantime uh, I'm happy with how this has been set up so far uh, on my driveway without any particular thought about where I'm going to put anything just for the, for the ease of running things through but, uh, Hey, that's not bad, is it? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Love you lots.